Hello, welcome back to Meditating the Word. My name is Cherie. I'm your host and fellow traveler on this journey through the Bible in a year. Whether you've been reading the Bible for years, or if this is your first time to read it, from Genesis to Revelation, I'm so glad to have you with us. We are in the eighth month of our journey, and we still have a lot of people to meet and places to visit. So let's jump into today's passage. This is day 229. Today we're reading Jeremiah 35 through 37. I'm reading from the World English Bible. Let's get started. The Book of Jeremiah, chapters 35 through 37. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord in the days of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, saying, Go to the house of the Rechabites, and speak to them, and bring them into the Lord's house, into one of the rooms, and give them wine to drink. Then I took Jaazaniah, the son of Jeremiah, the son of Habazaniah, with his brothers, all his sons, and the whole house of the Rechabites, and I brought them into the Lord's house, into the room of the sons of Hanan, the son of Igdaliah, the man of God, which was by the room of the princes, which was above the room of Maasaiah, the son of Shalom, the keeper of the threshold. I set before the sons of the house of Rechabites bowls full of wine and cups, and I said to them, Drink wine. But they said, We will drink no wine. For Jonadab, the son of Rechab, our father, commanded us, saying, You shall drink no wine, neither you nor your children forever. You shall not build a house, sow seed, plant a vineyard, or have any. But all your days you shall dwell in tents, that you may live many days in the land in which you live as nomads. We have obeyed the voice of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, our father, in all that he commanded us, to drink no wine all our days, we, our wives, our sons, or our daughters, and not to build houses for ourselves to dwell in. We have no vineyard, field, or seed, but we have lived in tents, and have obeyed, and done according to all that Jonadab our father commanded us. But when Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came up into the land, we said, Come, let's go to Jerusalem, for fear of the army of the Chaldeans, and for fear of the army of the Syrians. So we will dwell at Jerusalem. Then the Lord's word came to Jeremiah, saying, The Lord of armies, the God of Israel, says, Go and tell the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, Will you not receive instruction to listen to my words, says the Lord? The words of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, that he commanded his sons not to drink wine, are performed, and to this day they drink none, for they obey their father's commandment. But I have spoken to you, rising up early and speaking, and you have not listened to me. I have sent also to you all my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying, Every one of you must return now from his evil way. Amend your doings, and don't go after other gods to serve them. Then you will dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers. But you have not inclined your ear, nor listened to me. The sons of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, have performed the commandment of their father, which he commanded them. But this people has not listened to me. Therefore the Lord, the God of armies, the God of Israel, says, Behold, I will bring on Judah and on all the inhabitants of Jerusalem all the evil that I have pronounced against them, because I have spoken to them, but they have not heard. And I have called to them, but they have not answered. Jeremiah said to the house of the Rechabites, The Lord of armies, the God of Israel, says, Because you have obeyed the commandment of Jonadab your father, and kept all his precepts, and done according to all that he commanded you, therefore the Lord of armies, the God of Israel, says, Jonadab, the son of Rechab, will not lack a man to stand before me forever. 
In the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, this word came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Take a scroll of a book, and write in it all the words that I have spoken to you against Israel, against Judah, and against all the nations, from the day I spoke to you, from the days of Josiah even to this day. It may be that the house of Judah will hear all the evil which I intend to do to them, that they may each return from his evil way, that I may forgive their iniquity and their sin. Then Jeremiah called Baruch, the son of Neriah, and Baruch wrote from the mouth of Jeremiah all the Lord's words which he had spoken to him on a scroll of a book. Jeremiah commanded Baruch, saying, I am restricted. I can't go into the Lord's house. Therefore you go and read from the scroll which you have written from my mouth, the Lord's words, in the ears of the people in the Lord's house on the fast day. Also you shall read them in the ears of all Judah who come out of their cities. It may be that they will present their supplication before the Lord and will each return from his evil way. For the Lord has pronounced great anger and wrath against this people. Baruch, the son of Neriah, did according to all that Jeremiah the prophet commanded him, reading in the book the Lord's words in the Lord's house. Now in the fifth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, in the ninth month, all the people in Jerusalem and all the people who came from the cities of Judah to Jerusalem proclaimed a fast before the Lord. Then Baruch read the words of Jeremiah from the book in the Lord's house, in the room of Gamariah, the son of Shaphan the scribe, in the upper court, at the entry of the new gate of the Lord's house, in the ears of all the people. When Micaiah, the son of Jeremiah, the son of Shaphan, had heard out of the book all the Lord's words, he went down into the king's house, into the scribe's room, and behold, all the princes were sitting there. Elishama the scribe, Delaiah the son of Shemaiah, Elnathan the son of Achbor, Gemariah the son of Shaphan, Zedekiah the son of Hananiah, and all the princes. Then Micaiah declared to them all the words that he had heard. When Baruch read the book in the ears of the people, therefore all the princes sent Jehudai the son of Nethaniah, the son of Shalamiah, the son of Cushi, to Baruch, saying, Take in your hand the scroll in which you have read in the ears of the people, and come. So Baruch, the son of Neriah, took the scroll in his hand and came to them. They said to him, Sit down now and read it in our hearing. So Baruch read it in their hearing. Now when they had heard all the words, they turned in fear one toward another and said to Baruch, We will surely tell the king of all these words. They asked Baruch, saying, Tell us now, how did you write all these words at his mouth? Then Baruch answered them, He dictated all these words to me with his mouth, and I wrote them with ink in the book. Then the princes said to Baruch, You and Jeremiah go hide. Don't let anyone know where you are. They went into the king, into the court. But they laid up the scroll in the room of Elishama the scribe, then they told all the words in the hearing of the king. So the king sent Jehudai to get the scroll, and took it out of the room of Elishama the scribe. Jehudai read it in the hearing of the king, and in the hearing of all the princes who stood beside the king. Now the king was sitting in the winter house in the ninth month, and there was a fire in the brazier burning before him. When Jehudai had read three or four columns, the king cut it with a penknife and cast it into the fire that was in the brazier, until all the scroll was consumed in the fire that was in the brazier. The king and his servants who heard all these words were not afraid and didn't tear their garments. Moreover, Elnathan and Delaiah and Gemariah had made intercession to the king that he would not burn the scroll but he would not listen to them. The king commanded Jeremael, the king's son, and Seraiah, the son of Azrael, and Shalamiah, 
the son of Abdael, to arrest Baruch the scribe and to Jeremiah the prophet, but the Lord hid them. Then the Lord's word came to Jeremiah after the king had burned the scroll, and the words which Baruch wrote at the mouth of Jeremiah, saying, Take again another scroll, and write in it all the former words that were in the first scroll, which Jehoiakim, the king of Judah, has burned. Concerning Jehoiakim, king of Judah, you shall say, The Lord says, You have burned this scroll, saying, Why have you written therein, saying, The king of Babylon will certainly come and destroy this land, and will cause to cease from there man and animal? Therefore the Lord says concerning Jehoiakim, king of Judah, He will have no one to sit on David's throne. His dead body will be cast out in the day to the heat, and in the night to the frost. I will punish him, his offspring, and his servants for their iniquity. I will bring on them, on the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and on the men of Judah, all the evil that I have pronounced against them, but they didn't listen. Then Jeremiah took another scroll, and gave it to Baruch the scribe, the son of Neriah, who wrote therein from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words of the book which Jehoiakim, king of Judah, had burned in the fire, and many similar words were added to them. Zedekiah, the son of Josiah, reigned as king, instead of Coniah, the son of Jehoiakim, whom Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, made king in the land of Judah. But neither he nor his servants, nor the people of the land, listened to the Lord's words, which he spoke by the prophet Jeremiah. Zedekiah the king sent Jehuchal, the son of Shalamiah, and Zephaniah, the son of Maasaiah, the priest, to the prophet Jeremiah, saying, Pray now to the Lord our God for us. Now Jeremiah came in and went out among the people, for they had not put him into prison. Pharaoh's army had come out of Egypt, and when the Chaldeans who were besieging Jerusalem heard news of them, they withdrew from Jerusalem. Then the Lord's word came to the prophet Jeremiah, saying, The Lord, the God of Israel, says, You shall tell the king of Judah, who sent you to me to inquire of me. Behold, Pharaoh's army, which has come out to help you, will return to Egypt into their own land. The Chaldeans will come again and fight against this city. They will take it and burn it with fire. The Lord says, Don't deceive yourselves, saying, The Chaldeans will surely depart from us, for they will not depart For though you had struck the whole army of the Chaldeans who fight against you, and only wounded men remained among them, they would each rise up in his tent and burn this city with fire. When the army of the Chaldeans had withdrawn from Jerusalem for fear of Pharaoh's army, then Jeremiah went out of Jerusalem to go into the land of Benjamin to receive his portion there in the middle of the people. When he was in Benjamin's gate, A captain of the guard was there, whose name was Erijah, the son of Shalamiah, the son of Hananiah. And he seized Jeremiah the prophet, saying, You are defecting to the Chaldeans. Then Jeremiah said, That is false. I am not defecting to the Chaldeans. But he didn't listen to him. So Erijah seized Jeremiah and brought him to the princes, The princes were angry with Jeremiah and struck him and put him in prison in the house of Jonathan the scribe, for they had made that the prison. When Jeremiah had come into the dungeon house and into the cells, and Jeremiah had remained there many days, then Zedekiah the king sent and had him brought out. The king asked him secretly in his house, Is there any word from the Lord? Jeremiah said, There is. He also said, You will be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon. Moreover, Jeremiah said to king Zedekiah, How have I sinned against you, against your servants, or against this people, that you have put me in prison? Now where are your prophets who prophesied to you, saying, The king of Babylon will not come against you, nor against this land? 
Now please hear, my lord the king. Please let my supplication be presented before you, that you not cause me to return to the house of Jonathan the scribe, lest I die there. Then Zedekiah the king commanded, and they committed Jeremiah into the court of the guard. They gave him daily a loaf of bread out of the baker's street, until all the bread in the city was gone. Thus Jeremiah remained in the court of the guard. Father God, thank you for your word. We can learn so much from the past if we open our ears and our hearts and truly hear. These aren't just ancient accounts. They are lessons. Help us to listen to your word, Father, not just have it go in one ear and out the other, but apply what we hear to our own lives. Help us to seek out wise counsel, and not just listen to teachings that say what we want to hear. And help us, Father, to obey. Your words bring life when they are followed. Help us to follow them faithfully. Amen. Well, there we have it, another chapter in our journey through the Bible. It isn't always easy to understand, but remember, it isn't a race, and each word we read is a seed planted in our hearts. Thank you for being part of this journey. Join us tomorrow and every day as we continue our journey through the pages of the Bible. This is Cherie, signing off for the day. Remember, you are in my prayers. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Until next time. Be blessed and be a blessing.